Hey guys, so I'm going to give you a tournament report, but then add a little MTG Finance and a little bit of my own personal taste on it. So, in GP, the last Legacy GP, I believe it was in Japan, 32 Brainstorms was in the top 8. So, top 8 has 8 players. If 8 of them play 4 Brainstorms apiece, which is the maximal, then that's 32. Essentially what I'm saying is the same deck, top 8 in or a very close deck to it, top aided a GP in time. And I wouldn't, I would be surprised if this was a one-time event. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I guess I would be, it's like 50-50. I could see how Brainstorm would dominate a, a Legacy event. Now, one, why I want to talk about this is if everyone's playing the same deck in Legacy and they're doing the top aiding and they're dirtling around. I love dirtling around. You can ask, People in my locals, my um, that's what I do a lot of times. <laughs> I play either mono burn uh, if I want to like eat if I if I'm going to eat out with friends at Chili's and whatever and have time, then I play red deck wins. But if I want to just have fun, if I, I've already eaten, which is kind of weird. It sounds kind of weird, but I'll play a dirtily deck, and my EDH is extremely dirtily, and my uh, tiny leaders is that as well. But Pretty much, it's like people casting Brainstorm and then responding by casting a Brainstorm and then attaching Probe. I mean, it is... I don't know, I, I love Legacy. I have always loved Legacy. I, out of all my collection, I will probably keep my Legacy deck last um, if I were to sell, which I'm not going to sell anytime soon because the collection is honestly too massive to even bring it to a location. But... It's so boring right now. Like I'm gonna go ahead and say there's no inter innovations. Um, if there's an innovation, leave a comment below if I'm wrong about this, but the decks that have been the top decks, the tier one decks, they have not changed. And the reason is very simple. Wizard of the Coast has decided not to support Legacy. Uh, not only are they not reprinting stuff, they are just not printing cards that can change Legacy. If you look at Legacy prices, they are kind of like this. If you look like mo at modern prices, a lot of cards are like... <laughs> and the standard is even more like up and down, up and down. But Legacy is just kind of like going down a little bit and then up. It, it doesn't change that much because the cards being played in Legacy don't change that much. And the decks are not... They are established and they don't change. So you don't have the modern ability to have like Amulet Bloom. No, you're going to play Brainstorm. You're going to, everyone's going to play, play Blue Deck. And they're going to have their Brainstorms and their Jaces and their Dazes and all that stuff. And it's kind of crazy. It really is crazy. And I don't want to say bad stuff about Legacy because it is a format I still enjoy. But from my perspective, uh, I don't see it. You can only play Legacy X amount of times against X amount of decks. So people in my locals, if they have a Legacy deck, maybe 2% of them have a Legacy deck. They only have one Legacy deck. So you're playing the same Legacy deck over and over and over again. And you only have like two Legacy... I only have two Legacy decks. So I'm playing the same Legacy deck over and over and over again. And yes, it can be fun, um, especially if you took a brook. Uh, a break from it, but it's not like modern when you can play modern and you, it's definitely not like EDH where you can just go ahead and play uh, Different people with different commanders and stuff and there's a lot of variety So when you're playing a video, it's, I take it like this. I play a lot of video games when you play a video game No matter how awesome Pokemon is you want to play the new Pokemon. You don't want to keep playing the same Pokemon Blue. Pokemon Blue is a fantastic game. It is a classic, but I don't want to keep playing Pokemon Blue for the rest of my life Right? I don't want to keep playing the same deck the rest of my life. I don't want to keep playing... A, and the, people were like, oh, well, you can just choose a different deck. Well, how? You're going to put down $4,000 more to make your Legacy deck or $1,000 or $2,000? I kind of like my Legacy deck to be pimped. That's why it's $4,000. I know a lot of you in the comments will say, oh, Red Deck wins. Red Deck wins. Yes, Red Deck wins is a fun deck. I like it a lot. But no one should be forced to play that deck because they don't have the cards that they can play the other decks with. If that makes any sense to you guys. Anyway, Legacy is such a boring format right now. I'm just, I haven't played Legacy in a while because I don't want to play. Like my friend keeps like texting me, hey, you bring your Legacy deck. I play that 
I played that his legacy deck probably over 200 times with my legacy deck, with one of my two legacy decks, and it is very boring. Um, and it's extremely, there's very little interactivity between my deck and his deck. Uh, so I have Dreads and I have Stoneblade, which is pretty much the decks that are winning. Uh, so I have a good deck and then I have a deck that's, eh. And Dreads is no fun to play with. It's fun to play with like one time a month, I guess, or maybe one time a year, but his deck is even worse. His deck is the Goblin Chopper Rocker or something. It just launches goblins and does 20 damage to you, um, which is even more fragile than Dreads. So yeah, I don't really want to play that deck anymore. <laughs> well, anyway, Legacy, I love Legacy. It's just too expensive right now, and the decks that are winning are too, they don't change ever. Um, the format just does not change. The decks that are winning will keep winning. Wizards of the Coast is not going to print out any other cards to affect the format in the, you know, in the likelihood of a card being that good, like True Name Nemesis. Yeah, I mean, what, what, that's one card. When you have standard, every time a new set comes, the, you know, you have a whole new set to experiment with. Every time that you, and same with modern, every time a new set comes, you have a whole new set to experiment with. As opposed to Legacy, which at most gets like one card from my commander deck sometimes. Bye guys!